welcome back to my channel Coder Kid. In today's video I'll be showing you how to make this times table generator app. So here is the design of the app. It says times tables, a text import, let's write two and then click on generate table and it shows you all the different times tables of the number two. So here's the code of the app. So we will be making this app on AppLab. So let's go straight into the design and we can change the theme or pick the colours. On the other one I chose this millennial theme but on this one I will choose a polar theme. So let's first drag a label and the ID of this label can be just label and then we can keep the text as times table or times tables generator. So let's go ahead and write that in. And then let's increase the font size. And we can place it however we want. Make sure the text fits in the label. So after you, after you have designed your label, then we can go on to the text input. So let's drag the text input, make it a tiny bit bigger, place it how you want it, and let's have the ID of this as text input, and the placeholder, you can have it as number, or times table, or however you want and the text colour I'm going to change it to a dark blue because it will go very nice with the light blue on the background so we can also change the font size to make it a tiny bit bigger and then next we can do a button so let's make this button a bit bigger and then increase the font size then we can change the ID of this to button and the text we can change this text to generate table or generate times table. Let's go ahead and write that in. So after you have written that in, we can go straight onto the code. And you can also name this screen but you don't have to name the screen. So I'm going to name this study screen. And then we can click on new screen and we have a new screen too. Like in this app we have screen one and then we have study screen. So we have screen one in this one and we also have study screen. So let's click on code and let's scroll right down and then drag set screen. And we need to first set the screen to study screen. So now after we have done that, we need to drag an on event block and on event button click we need to go to control and grab a for statement and then it needs to be variable i equals 1 and then i to 11 and then i plus plus so now we need to drag a text label So let's drag a text label and put it right in. So then here where it says idea, ID, ID, we are going to delete the inverted commas and the ID and click right I. Make sure it's lowercase. And then in the text, we need to go to math. 
and then drag a plus block. So I'm going to drag a few of these. So you're going to need four of these. And then the fifth one, we need this multiply operator for the last one. So we need to go back to UI controls and dra drag get number text to input. So let's see, here is get number. Let's drag that in and we need to change the ID to text input. And then the next blank one, we need to write inverted commas. Once we need to have a set of inverted commas and an X, a lowercase X. And then we need to have an I, a lowercase I without any inverted commas. And then we need to have an inverted commas, equal sign, and another pair of inverted commas. And then for the second to last one, we're going to have a lowercase i. And then for the last one, we need a get number. So let's drag get number. And this needs to be get number. And then the ID of this needs to be text input. So now that's not the end of the coding. So we need to drag a set position from UI controls so let's scroll down and find it here is set position and then set position and then instead of ID and the inverted commas we need to delete the inverted commas and write a lowercase i so then we need a hundred in the next one and then in the one after that, we need to go to math and drag a multiplication sign and put that where the second zero is. And then it needs to be 40 multiplied by i. This is the variable i, and we need to make sure all the i's are in lowercase. And then the last three and the fourth one, they both need to be of 100. So now let's go to UI controls and we can drag hide element which will be just above delete element. So we need to drag three of these. So the first one we need to hide element label and then we need to hide element text import and then we need to hide element button so that's all the coding let's check let's check if our app works you don't need to have the screen one that's just up op an optional screen if you want to add anything onto that screen let's click on one let's write a number in and then click on generate table so here it has generated the times table of the twos. So that's it, our app works. So now we can change the name of this app to maybe times table generator or times table. And then click on save. We can share this app. You can send to phone. You can scan this barcode right now to get my app on your phone. This link will be in the description box below if you want to have my app as well. So we can publish this to the code.org gallery too. So that's it for today's video. Please subscribe, like and share. And you can post in the comments what video you would like me to make next. That's it for today. Bye.